saw an important mission ahead of us to help uh, deal with this impending and continuing problem with the oil on the beaches. This war on the oil spill, which we think is pretty significant, and we're treating it like a war and trying to bring as many weapons to bear as we can. It was actually designed and built after the spill, just about uh, six weeks ago. What this machine does is you take uh, oily contaminated sand, you process it through that unit, and uh, you can process 800 to 1,000 tons of sand per day. It pulls that sand into a slurry flow, and it does a separation of the sand and hydrocarbon uh, through shearing forces. Uh, when the hydrocarbon is sheared from the sand, uh, then we do the remediation of the hydrocarbon uh, and uh, break it down into very, very micron-sized particles that allows the enzyme to eat it rapidly. They can actually separate the tar, uh, sand, and oil of any sort uh, from the sand and result in white sand. And the key point is not a single grain, not a single grain of sand uh, has ever to be removed from the beach in this process. Well, the main uh, advantage that we're looking at today is to get something that can scoop it up and leave the sand. I mean, we've got technology that can scoop up the sand, but there's a finite amount of sand on the beach. So the less sand we take off the beach, the better it is for the beach. Uh, this machine is designed to uh, pick up sand as deep into the sand as uh, we need to go uh, to ensure that we've got all of the oil picked up, as opposed or compared to manual pickup by shovels, which gets the material on top of the surface but doesn't necessarily get down into the sand. Well, it, it's, uh, it's not easy. I mean, this is tough stuff to get up off the beach. It's, uh, it's tar. It's, it's, uh, when the sun comes out, you get a gooey mess. And uh, you know the, the cleaning crews that they've had out here could probably tell you, give you a better explanation of just the difficulties that they have in getting it off. Oh, it's a great machine. You'll see that when we run it. Uh, everyone that's uh, been around the equipment when it's operating are very, very pleased to see that there is something that has high throughput that can do a good job on cleaning the sand.